previous generation is often described as a group of protectors that came before our current one, often consisting of the fan-made Hakurei Miku, the pseudo canon Hyudri Morin, and the canon Renosuke Morchika and Yoki Kampaku. Sometimes characters like Unzan, Leia, Prism River, and Rinsasuke are included as well. This group is often seen as stronger than th their successors, due to operating during an era where the spell card rules did not exist. What this means is, is that every fight was for keeps. There were no nerfs, no plot armor, it was kill or be killed. Hakurei Miku was known for quite literally punching things with falling energy. A traditional monk if I've ever seen one. She was known for two other big things, but that's ne neither here nor there. Hijri Murin, the brother of Byakurin, was originally supposed to be the final boss of Toho 12. But Zoon decided that throwing in a male character after so many years of using only females would disrupt the status quo, so he killed the man off and replaced him with his sister. Not much is known about him, but I assume that he, like Byakuren, is a punch person who... Well, that's two. That's two punch people. We need some variety up in here. Renosuke Morichika, perhaps the one we know the most and yet the least about. Nothing is known about his combat prowess, but it's presumed he used artifacts similar to the mini Hakuro to do combat, as he's the one who invented it. It's also possible he used the Sword of Kusanagi, a weapon he canonically owes, to fight as well. Or maybe he was just mission control. I pre personally prefer the former. Then we have Yoki Kampaku, Yomu's father or grandfather. It's never made all that clear, but I like to go with grandfather. He was a teacher to both Yomu and Yuko before he decided to go get milk and never come back. We do know that he was definitely a force to be reckoned with, and it's confirmed that Yomu never fully mastered his lessons, meaning he's likely far more frightening with a blade than she is. It's unknown what caused him to leave or why he stayed gone so long. Maybe Yuko ate him? Now, we get into silly territory. Unzan, the stand that Ichiran has. There are theories that he was once a living man before becoming the cotton candy menace he is today, but that would make three monks and that's just a bit too unbalanced for my liking. Layla Prism River, the fourth and only member of the Prism River Quartet that created the poltergeist with her magic, based them off her own sisters. She was hinted to live in the outside world, but perhaps she was actually in Gisokyo for a time before passing on? If that's the case, one must wonder if she exists somewhere in the netherworld, a theory for another time perhaps. And finally, Rin Satsuki, the character that got dummied out of Toho 6. We know absolutely nothing about her, not even her official design. We only know of her because of a data mine. But if she was instead a member of the previous generation, would that not make her a bit more appealing? I like to think she used an instrument that had wires attached to it. Wires that could ensnare her foe. Think Kawakami Bonsai from Gintama. Honestly, even though most of this is fanon, I'd love a proper game based around these guys. I know there are things like Osana, Reimu, and stuff floating around, but I'd like an actual piece of media exploring this previous generation and what they got up to. A Toho Zero, if you will. Well, now that I'm done talking your ears off, let me thank you for watching this far, and if you liked this video, please, for me, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and dingle the dangly bell. See you all next time.